Hi, here we go again with a quality check of Caldwell Conversion Uppercut, 3D printed one. So, most of the time it's painted one, but this one will be all grey. So I believe, uh, I believe the customer wants to paint it himself. This one is going to the United States. And let's do what we do usually. We do the quality check. Like bit, uh, combination between hammer, trigger and uh, cylinder. Like this. So we know it all works. What's even better, we're gonna do it with bullets in. So there's six bullets. Let's get the bullets in. That's three, four now, five and six. There you go, all in. And now we can check the combination between hammer, trigger and cylinder. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That works. Let's go with getting bullets out. So you can either start them out slowly or speed it up with extractor rods. There we go. All out, all six out. Here we go. Six bullets out. Sorted. This end is just for a. Um, this end is just in case you take it in on cosplay. So it shows that it's not a real gun. Just, it comes out easily. So here you go, that's sorta, here you go. Ah, there we go. The extractor rod is inside the cylinder. That was my uh, that was my next point, like safety point. So the thing can go wrong, things can go wrong. If something is stuck in the cylinder and it's not turning, because when everything is alright, it should be two clicks, like one click. One click halfway and then one more click to fully turn around the cylinder. So in case something is stuck in cylinder, which mainly is this extractor rod, it locks down here at the end, like in this place. It locks down, but for example, if it doesn't lock, you forget it or just in, in hurry, in hurry you uh, fail to. Lock it down so it falls inside the cylinder then yeah where the bullets are and then when you try to pull a hammer it's after the first click it's not going further so if you keep applying the pressure there are small bits inside that make this a combination between hammer trigger and cylinder work if you keep going further inside here everything will break and you will be not able you'll still be able to lock down a hammer but there will be the combination between the hammer, trigger and cylinder will be broken. So it's not gonna work there anymore. So anytime if there's a pressure, you can feel there's a stuck something, cylinder is not turning. Try with your hand first so you can see it's not turning, something is stuck inside the cylinder. And then you turn around, you can see that's the extractor rod, that was all the fault, so get that thing in place and it's working again. Other thing that could go wrong, like very rarely but there's still a possibility when you get the bullet in or out you don't put it completely in and it also blocks the cylinder so again if you don't notice it you start to pull hammer back it's not working again try with your hand first check the extractor rod that is in the place and the bullet is not in place so either put it in and it works again or find it and slide it out Okay, and I think the customer wants to paint this gun. That's why it's all in the all in gray. That's my guess. I should ask. I know I should ask, but and this will be also information for future if somebody wants to paint it. So gun will travel like this, the customer like this. All these parts can be taken apart, taken apart. So it's easy to take it apart, easy to put it together. So there's just one small bit that could be a bit. Uh, could be bit in the way, and in the way I mean that cylinder, it's, it's not going on. So that means, uh, I'll show you why. There's this locking bolt, this small bit, that goes inside these holes of the cylinder to prevent it from spinning around, so when you put it on, the locking bolt is out. To lower down the locking bolt, you need to pull back hammer, like a tiny bit, you can see. It's going down when I put pressure on the hammer. Not completely, 
one completely it's in his in its place so I draw it beginning you slide it down it goes down easily you release the hammer it's not going down so when you take the gun apart uh, let's get it in the place where it's all in when you take it apart it's very easily less than five seconds easy peasy when you try to put it back together this is the place where it's gonna stop when you try to put it together small a little bit of pressure on hammer slides on like this gun is blocked together and ready to go so as I said you will get it in small not in small pieces I'll separate because as I said if you want to paint it this will make the job much more easier it will come in parts so put it back together when it's painted or if you don't want to paint it just put it together like this easy peasy this goes here as you saw before uh, extractor rod goes inside so this bit is the one that prevents gun from sliding forwards backwards in the barrel you put this in and that's it it's not sliding anymore gun is solid so that means when, when you painted it or straight away if you don't want to paint it put this in tiny bit of super glue or plastic glue in here or inside here put that in and it won't move anymore the same on this side all you need is a small dot of glue here right here that holds this bit together so basically it will be glue here and glue here just small dots and that's it gun is solid already if you don't want you can don't glue it you see it holds together but yeah all you need is two small glue dots in here so when you paint it what I would suggest not suggest but what's important not paint this part don't paint this part and inside here because you want it plastic to plastic so it turns so it spins around so what I usually do I cover this with the masking tape because that part anyway will, will not be visible only place that's gonna be visible when the cylinder is on is this tiny bit this small bit can be visible so put masking tape here and to prevent uh, paint going in just use something like this to cover it and on this side I usually put the masking tape around here so none of these none of these things are get covered with paint and nothing stuck so it's plastic against plastic the same on this side masking tape here because you want also you don't want paint here because then it will like it will not uh, slide as good as it should, it should be you want so basically you want the plastic where the rotations are don't paint it so masking tape around here masking tape around here it's alright if it goes in the bullet holes doesn't matter they will still slide in and out that's that's not a problem at all and also when you paint the hammer you can put masking tape here on the top but also shouldn't be a problem if you paint it All, only sh things that shouldn't be painted are this and the bits inside but you can't get to the bits inside so that's fine you don't need to paint it so I think that's it we, we check the quality everything works I'll show I, I showed you which on which parts you should avoid paint and I believe that's it I think that's uh, yeah that's it I really hope if you paint it go for standard or this one as you see I failed this needs to be I tried with my hand but this really needs to be you need to really be patient to paint these lines I failed as you can see straight away but maybe don't go for that I find that's the easiest the easiest uh, legendary skin to go for but it needs patience so if you paint it in any legendary skin please send me a photo I really want to see that but otherwise this one's really good so put it on like this in the box let's do it and let's send it